Sir, I am sharing a young male with, presented with an apical cardiomyopathy. Look at the hypertrophy of the apices, both on a four-chamber view and on a two-chamber view. Uh, the bases are fine, not thickened, but there is hypertrophy at the apex. Now, if you see on a color Doppler, you see there is an aliasing in the mid LV cavity uh, close to the apex, and then this indicates there is an obstruction in cystle. And if you do a Doppler there, you can see there is a lobster claw appearance of uh, this uh, flow, which is typical of uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So this is hypertrophy. You have mid cavity increased flow and a lobster claw sign indicating this is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. But you know the story doesn't end here. Now you must know that you must rule out apical aneurysm in all patients with hypertrophy because the outcome becomes very different. Look at there was a suspicion of apical aneurysm. What we did, we rotated the probe little laterally to get uh, rid of this near field clutter. We reduced the depth to improve the frame rate, thus resolution, and we could see a very clear aneurysm there, about 3 cm in size. The apical aneurysm increases the risk of a sudden cardiac arrest and the likelihood of getting an ICD. So you should not miss apical aneurysm. Apical aneurysms can be picked up very nicely on an MRI, but many a times you don't have that facility. So it's a good idea to screen all patients of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and look for an apical aneurysm by optimizing your image. Another good thing, you should do is subscribe uh, the channel.